you guys like western towns, I'm in Cody, Wyoming. And there's this little place where they take all the little western buildings. It's really cool. So let's go explore, guys. This is the, uh... Oh, this was the first store in Shell, Wyoming. It was built in 1892. Let's go take a look. Boy. Homestead, cabin built by homesteaders on Monument Hill, north of Cody, 1800s. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. All sorts of stuff. Oh, check out that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You know, it's crazy. I've seen those before. Uh, somebody had a picture of them. The two-headed calf. Man. This is it. This is all you had back in the day. You know? It's just a little cabin. Keep you out of the weather. Carpenter shop in here so we're still working with the new camera let's take a look in here wow trying not to make this boring okay guys it's pretty cool go down over here see what other building we got Carl's cabin Log cabin and home of Custer. Wow, look at that. Let's go take a look inside, guys. Maybe we might see a ghost or something in here. Oh, check that out. That's cool. Yeah. I've been wanting to come to this place for a little while. We, uh, we're just, you know, we got our little trip. We're going up to Montana. So. This place was like right on the way. Wow, look at this. Very cool. See any ghost in here, guys? Yeah, so. All right. It's a big old thing. I don't know if you guys want to read that or not. All right, let's go find the next cabin kids and everybody ran up ahead so I could do all this filming. It's funny. Oh, what's this? This is, uh, is there a name on this one? So a lot of these cabins have a lot of history, like the places that they got them from or something. Can you imagine how they bring these here? It's crazy, huh? It's a Morrison cabin. Cabin built of the Copper Mountain east of Shoney. 1884. Very cool. Let's take a look in here. The cabins actually aren't that hot inside. It's like 74 degrees outside. Yeah, look at that old bed. That's super cool. Oh, look at check out the LED, man. Didn't know they had those back in the day. That's cool. Okay, so Bonanza Post Office built in 1885. Bonanza, Wyoming territory. I wonder if that has anything to do with that. No, because Bonanza was filmed in Tahoe, California. Oh, look at it. You see the chief over there running the store. Wow, okay. So this is uh, this where you go get your your mail and all that. Let's see if I can get you. No, I can't get in there. Can you see him? This one right here means a lot. This one's the uh, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. A lot of outlaws hit at this place. It's a lot of history right here. Let's go take a look. Oh man, dude, can you? <laughs> I'm a big Western fan, so. All those Western movies and stuff about the Sundance Kid and Butch Cassidy filmed right here. Wow. 
Maybe just sit there and drink the whiskey and play poker. A little hand of cards. What a cool freaking place, man. Wow. Check this out. Sundance Kid. Five thousand dollar reward, man. Just think of that. That's a lot of money back then. Two thousand bucks is a lot of money. Man, freaking cool. This is the uh, Rosie Road Roadhouse Brothel. Originally located in Arlen, Wyoming. The structure was built in 1884 by Vic Harlan for Rosie Williams to entice, entice her to move her business from Red Lodge. That's kind of cool because we're going to Red Lodge. Right there, Red Lodge, Montana. Ah. There you go, guys. Wow. Freaking cool. They're doing some uh, reenactments over here. I'm trying to catch some of that. Oh, look at that guy, Zoom. <laughs> yep, let's see if we can see Rosie. You in here, Rosie? Oh, there's Rosie's dress right there. Very cool. Oh, check out that picture. Let's see if we get. I can do this with my GoPro. Zoom right in there. Look at that. Very awesome. Wow, look at that old stove. Very cool. It's been a little while since we got some history videos going. Cowboy boots over by the bed, and there's your sink. Very awesome. Whoa, that is freaking awesome. Oh man, you just have this. Uh, I know who this is. <clears throat> Yeah, born in 1775, died in 1810. Tribute to James Oldgate. Very cool. Oh, look at this. Ah. All right. Okay, so this is the uh, Mud Springs Cabin, 1897, used by Kid Curry and Sundance Kid as a hideout before they attempted to hold up the Red Lodge Bank, Red Lodge, Montana. And like I said, we're going to Red Lodge. Yep, there it is, guys. Carbon County. Man, this is it. This is like, wonder if that's the original bed. That's where they would hang out. So, I mean, it's a nice cabin. a grain house. This must be like a garage. Oh yeah, library stable. Okay, this building was built near Clark's Fork Canyon north of Cody in the late 1890s. Wow. So the uh, Robert Redford back in the day came here. And they reburied Jeremiah Johnson, I think, on this property. Yeah, there he is, right there, guys. How cool is that?
that's cool. Wow. Jim White's original gravesite. Homestead Cabin. Cabin built at the head of Dry Creek between Cody and Mitzi around 1900. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love all this history. Hope you guys are enjoying all this history too. And here it is. This is all the cabin I could probably afford. The Trapper's Cabin. Built on Cottonwood Creek south of Mitzi about 1885. Wow, so there's different kinds of bob wire. Oh yeah, check out this old sheep wagon. Buggies. So sport cars back in the day. There's your family wagon. This probably be like a bus or something, huh? Let's see. What's this one? A coach? Yep. So just for a Wow. Lots of cool stuff to see. Yeah, if you guys are ever on Cody, Wyoming, make sure you stop by Old Town. Very awesome history. Yeah. I don't think they had lamps like that back in the day, but I'm sorry guys. Let's get you in here one more time. Yep, this is where uh, you would live back in the day, you know? You got your bed, got your stove to keep warm, get your chairs kicked back, some whiskey, read books, talk to each other. I don't think a lot of people know how to do that anymore, but Museum of Old West, Memories of Lewis Phillips. Wow, oh, this is a big, big place. east of Billings, Montana. That is super cool, man. It's the real deal. It's the uh, Burlington store. This building was built the Grave Ripple River, New Burlington, Wyoming, about 1897. That's a big building. A lot of these stores on the other side are small. Here's a chuck wagon. All right, I hope I'm not making this too boring, guys. Oh, this is a saloon. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, this is a very cool place. Hello, everybody. Wow, check this out. This is where you would come and have a good time and spin your pay that you earned. Yeah. They had these mirrors so you could always watch behind you. Here's the McNeil cabin. McNeil cabin. Yeah, see, they brought them here. That's how they do it with these cabins. They bring them back, put life back in them. And they get these cool little places. So, this is a uh, Jeremiah Johnson's buried over here somewhere. Should be right over here. Yeah, this is Jeremiah Johnson right there. Jeremiah Johnson. Liver eater. 1824 to 1900. It's cool. Robert Redford's got a lot to do with this stuff too. It's, it's just amazing. You know, growing up watching this. Wow, Jim White, Buffalo Hunter. Yep, here's Bella. Bell. Eighteen sixty. So her place is right over there. We looked at. All right, guys. Well, that's Old Town. If you're in uh, Cody, come visit this place. It's so worth it. This place is. It's awesome. Uh, if you're a big Western fan, then if not, then you know, come check it out anyways. You still like it. So, but yeah, I love this place so far. It's, well, these cabins got so much history. And then Jeremiah Johnson, damn it, that's just like really was awesome. So, uh, next stop is uh, Red Lodge, where a lot more history we'll get. Well, made it to Montana. Next stop. Red Lodge. What a interesting place. Let's go check and see what we can see. She's bearing through the bushes and the rattlesnakes. Wow. Well, folks, you know me. I would have gone in, but Anna won't let me. So, I mean, it's so close. We're just, just right here, you know. Hmm. Yeah, there's a road too. But this opens up really easy. Yeah, it does. It just slides open. Ah, so you got that building there, and that one that's falling apart. Yeah, rattlesnake behind you. Not sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a creek down there, I think. I think. Well, that sucks. Here it is, the Smith Mine. everybody good morning it's the next day stay at this beautiful cabin right here it was very relaxing and now we're going to take a peek at the river and then how that on out I don't know what we're gonna do we're gonna look around Red Lodge and find something to do so all right it's a pretty cool little place I like it here Shoshone River? Yeah. Wow, 
sure blowing up high too. Looks higher than yesterday. So the little cabin right there's not not looking so good. That's more than storage. I wonder if we got this way. Well, we're on the streets of Red Lodge, and right next to me is where the hole in the wall gang robbed. Foiled bank robbery site. On September 18th, 1897, the Sundance Kid, Kid Curry, and others of the Wild Bunch rode into Red Lodge after escaping from jail in Bell. Forge, South Dakota, and announced their intention of making an unauthorized withdrawal from the Carbon County Bank. They botched the job, and Sheriff John Dunn rode off in hot pursuit. After an 80-mile chase, he and his posse captured them near Lavina. The robbers were returned to Deadwood, South Dakota jail, where again, they escaped. All right, breakfast time. We're going to eat breakfast at this awesome place. We'll be by the street here. I'll get ran over. I like this town a lot. Red Lodge. This is the place we're gonna eat at. Brady's place. Okay, we're almost back home. Stopped in a small little tiny town. Just to stretch the legs. I think this town's called uh, Mititsi, Wyoming. Might be saying it totally wrong. I'm not the smartest person on earth. So let's take a look and see what they got in this town to offer. First thing I see is this old bank right here. So let's go take a look at that. If I get this tree out of my way. All right, here we go. Wow, 1901. Yeah, that is cool. This was the uh, first national bank of Matitsi. I don't this know. is cool. Yeah, that's how they used to bring the oil by horse. Can you imagine this thing sloshing around with wooden wheels? And then these are um, these are sheep wagons. That's the old wagon right here. It's what you would go to town every day in. I didn't recognize the door is open. I'm sorry, guys. Let me take a look in here. Pretty cool. All right. Onwards to the wild town of Mitsitsi or Mitsi, what the hell it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you think of this place? Look through windows. Must be like the place you go and have a good time. I like that gun on the door, it's cool. That's neat. It's a little sleepy town everybody drives by. I think the gas station is the busiest place out of this whole place. Oh, there's the jail right there. That's where Anna needs to go. Go get in there, Anna. There it is. TC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Maybe. We're not making any promises. Family dining. 
Oh yeah, that smells like the 90s. Yeah, all right, there we go. You keep seeing these. These little bears in town, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Those are big scissors, Anna. Better to cut your head off with death. Ah! <laughs> Those are probably the scissors that they uh, had when they cut the ribbon. Probably. And that's it, man. That's, that's the end of town right there. Thank you everybody for coming along on this trip. I hope it wasn't too boring. I just wanted to show you guys some cool stuff. And uh, the Jeep did amazing. Um, there was some trails that I wanted to do up in Red Lodge. Just kind of the reason we went up there. And also to see the uh, historical sites of the Hole in the Wall gang and all that. But it was all kind of closed when we were out there in the room. A little bit of a flood watch. So couldn't do any of that. But it was cool. You know, it was a road trip. You know, got to see what the Jeep could do. So uh, the next trip we have is I bought another vehicle, and that's all I'm gonna say. So I got to go to Salt Lake. So get ready for another road trip. Guys.